So we're going to take the derivative of L of x equals square root of x using the definition of the derivative. So our first step is to set up our definition and see what kind of algebra we can use to help ourselves out. So L of x plus h is going to be square root of x plus h minus L of x, which is just square root of x, all over h. Right now we have a 0 over 0 case or an indeterminate form. A lot of times when you have a radical, what we like to do is multiply by what's called the conjugate because it gets rid of our square roots, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. So the conjugate, square root of x plus h plus square root of x, and we'll do the same thing on bottom because we can't change what we have because now we're just multiplying by 1. Now in the numerator, I want you to imagine foiling that out. So. We're going to have limit as h goes to 0, and we write that until we have actually taken the limit as h goes to 0. Now when I multiply these two terms, I'm going to get square root of x plus h squared. When I multiply these two terms, I'm going to get minus square root of x times square root of x plus h. Now when I multiply these two terms, I'm going to get a positive square root of x, square root of x plus h. You might already be starting to see what's about to happen. And then finally, when I multiply these two terms, I get negative square root of x squared, because it's getting multiplied by itself, all over h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now, you may want to distribute the h. Don't bother, and you're going to see why very soon. Notice what happens here. We got the same term with opposite signs. These two terms are actually going to cancel. And now the other thing that's going to happen, notice I got square root of x plus h squared. Those are essentially going to cancel. I'm going to end up with x plus h minus x on top. All the radicals are gone. h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x those x's cancel and notice now I can cancel also the h's and I just end up with a 1 on top I can actually go ahead now and take the limit as h goes to 0 so this term here is going to become 0 so after my limit I'm going to end up with 1 on top square root of x plus square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x which is in fact my derivative L prime of x using the definition of the derivative.